Hi, the name of this Blender video tutorial is Lamp Constraints and Parenting. Blender lamp objects, like other Blender objects, can be parented to other objects or can be constrained like other objects. To demonstrate parenting and constraining of a lamp object, I've placed two monkey objects in my scene. I've named one of these objects Red Monkey and the other Blue Monkey. I'm going to go to Top View and add a Blender Spot Lamp object. I'll name this Spot Lamp object Red Monkey Spot. I'll then add a second Spot Lamp object. And I'll name this Spot Lamp object Blue Monkey Spot. I'll go to Front View and raise the Red Monkey Spot up a bit and rotate it toward the red monkey object. I'll do the same with the blue monkey object. I'll go to side view and rotate both spot lamps again to focus on the monkey objects. I'll select the red monkey spot lamp and hold down my shift key and add the red monkey object to the selection. I'll then press Control P and make the red spot lamp object a child of the red monkey object. Since the lamp object is a child of the monkey object, I can select the monkey object and move it anywhere in the scene and the lamp object will follow, maintaining the distance and relationship between the two objects. If I rotate the red monkey object, the lamp object rotates around the monkey object, maintaining the distance and relationship between the two objects. If I scale the monkey object, the relationship between the two objects scales accordingly. This technique of parenting lamp objects to other objects sometimes provides a handy way to keep certain lighting effects consistent throughout an animation. Next I'll select the blue monkey spot lamp object and then go to the Constraint Editor and click on the Add Constraint button. Here I will select the Track 2 constraint. This displays the Track 2 settings panel. I will click on the Target Object box and select the Blue Monkey object. Notice that the Spot Lamp is now pointed away from the Blue Monkey object. But there is a dotted line between the two, which indicates that there is a constraint relationship between the two objects. With regards to constraints and parenting, Blender lamp objects function much like other Blender objects. Although lamp objects do not render, they do, like other three-dimensional objects, have an X, Y, and a Z axis. Notice in the Track 2 panel settings that the axis that points to the object is by default set to Y. I will change this to negative Z axis. Now the negative Z axis is pointing to the blue monkey object. By default, the spot lamp axis that points upward is the Z axis. With a lamp object, we need to have either the X or the Y axis pointing upward. With the track to constraint applied to the spot lamp object, I can now select the blue monkey object, and wherever I move the monkey object, the spot lamp object will continue to point to the monkey object. Notice that the track to constraint effect is different than the parenting effect. With the track to constraint, the lamp object points to, but does not move with the monkey object. With parenting, the child lamp object moves with the parent object. Both parenting and track two constraints applied to a lamp objects are sometimes quite useful techniques to employ when animating an object. 